Hey writer friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Holly. I'm a writer aspiring to be a published author. And I'm also in a different setting again because I'm trying to bulk film these videos before I move. So you might see me in this setting for a couple weeks before I go to a brand new setting in my new apartment. So that'll be kind of fun to, you know, see a new place. Um, a different kind of layout, as you will. But I wanted to dive into one quick announcement that I'm really excited about before I go into a more serious topic. But the first uh, topic that I wanted to talk about was that I now have a P.O. box. I am so excited that I have this available for you guys. Actually, my newsletter subscribers heard about my P.O. box before anyone else. So if you have not subscribed to my newsletter, please consider doing that. Um, the link to my website is down below. You also get two free PDF Fs when you sign up for my newsletter. So go ahead and do that. But I will also link the P.O. box down below. And so, yeah, feel free to send me any letters or messages. I like getting real mail and I think it's cool that I've given you guys a way, you know, another way for you guys to interact with me because I love the writing community. But anyway, so now that I got the fun and games out of the way, I do want to you know, talk about something that's a little more serious for this video. I feel like all of my videos are like serious, like the past couple videos, but um, it was actually spurred on by a comment that I got in one of my YouTube videos um, by someone who was asking about, you know, how I felt and how I deal with writing about um, the topic of verbal and emotional abuse in my novel. I think it was in a writing tag because I must have been talking about that, but um, my main character, Luci Baruvi, um, in my novel, The Celestial Code, has to go through um, the verbal and emotional abuse of her stepdad. So she was just, you know, asking how I deal with it, and I thought that it would be a good topic to do as a YouTube video that I couldn't really explain it all in a reply to her. Um, but I wanted to start off by saying that, you know, I wanted to write about this topic because it's a topic that I have experienced and I have gone through, and I feel like it's important for this message to be heard. Um, also, another trigger warning that, you know, if you have dealt with um, receiving verbal or emotional abuse, you know, just a warning. You can close out of this video if you want to, because again, I don't want to trigger any, you know, sort of negative emotions or bad memories or anything. This happened to me many, many years ago, so I've kind of been able to distance myself from it, but it still affects me time to time where I will still have nightmares. Um, even though this happened, you know, 15 years ago, over 15 years ago. Um, but anyways, so I have experienced verbal and emotional abuse myself. My stepdad, who my mom eventually divorced, was verbally and emotionally abusive. He, you know, never actually got diagnosed because he was able to put on such a good front around people and even around um, our church that no one, you know, no one knew that he acted differently at home. And, you know, you know, when people are like, oh, my neighbor, like, oh, my God, they murdered someone like I would never think that he's such a nice man. Well, yeah. That's what they do because they're not going to be like hi neighbor by the way i'm a murderer and i'm crazy so that's essentially what my stepdad did he you know put on this front around people and tried to act like a good person but behind closed doors he was completely different um so you know i had a different experience than my mom because you know at the time i was um he he was in you know, the picture when I was in fourth grade up until my sophomore year of high school. And I am 30, almost 31 in October. So, you know, it's been a while. But, you know, when I was that young, it was, you know, those are very vulnerable times. And I was a very sensitive person and I'm still very sensitive. So, you know, going through that was rough. But, you know, my mom even took more of a hit with it that just really changed her to be, you know, a little more distrusting of people, more having having a negative view on life. It, you know, kind of made her like a semi hoarder because she bought things to fill this emotional void that she had. So just all of these things came out of it. Um, 
eventually, you know, our church didn't believe us and they even talked to my sister and I. I remember we went to like family counseling. My mom and stepdad went to um, marital counseling and just nothing came out of it. So and eventually my mom was like, I can't stay like this. And she divorced my stepdad and the church kicked her out because that was a sin. So, you know, but of course what he was doing wasn't a sin and all the sins that everyone in the church did you know, they didn't get kicked out, but because my mom wanted to save our family, she, you know, got kicked out. But that's a whole nother topic I could go on. I'm trying to, uh, but anyways, I'm just trying to give you a little bit of context, but there were just things where, you know, we would have to tiptoe around, around him because we could say something and just set off a bomb, um, you know, or we wouldn't do anything wrong and he would blame us for something and we had to just bite our tongues and pretend like we were in the wrong because if we, you know, voiced our opinion and, you know, said, no, this isn't right, we would get in trouble. So that's where I learned to kind of keep things inside. But anyways, so thankfully, <laughs> you know, that's not an issue that I have to deal with anymore, but it was something that was obviously near and dear to my heart, this topic of having to deal with it, that... I knew I wanted to in include it in a novel and you know the celestial code this idea mm -hmm. came to me when I was a sophomore in college and I don't know I don't think the whole idea of her having a stepdad and having a stepdad specifically that was verbally and emotionally abusive I don't know if that came until later until I started digging deeper into the story and what kind of story I wanted to tell um, and my mom had so I said that he wasn't, my stepdad wasn't, you know, specifically diagnosed with anything, but my mom had read a lot of books and did research because she was trying to find ways to help him and diagnosed him with borderline personality disorder and narcissistic disorder. So I will leave a couple links down below about those disorders if you want to check those out. But the uh, stepdad in my novel, I gave him specifically just narcissistic disorder. But yeah, so I've read a lot of YA books about, you know, bad physical relationships, toxic relationships where, you know, the other person's an alcoholic, you know, YA is known for parents being kind of out of the picture or having problems because that allows those younger kids to go on the adventures because they don't have a family to deal with. But I wanted to tackle the problem where like my character has a mom that she cares about and has this family in life on earth that she's trying to save but also there's this fantasy world that she's thrust into and I don't you know very often read if at all I don't know if I've read any books about like emotional or verbal abuse so that was something that was important for me to include and most importantly to include in a YA fantasy novel because I feel like a lot of these topics are addressed in contemporary novels but I never really read about in fantasy novels. So actually if you guys know any YA fantasy books that deal with you know someone who's verbally or emotionally abusive I would want to read it I you know am interested in the topic and want to see how they deal with it so yeah leave me a comment down below if you know any novels like that but anyways as far as writing it I feel like obviously obviously since I have this first-hand knowledge that you know I can write these really close scenes where you can feel everything that Lucci's feeling because it's everything that I have felt and it's coming from the heart and I feel like that's really important and in this way I can show you guys what she's experiencing instead of telling it and it doesn't you know because it's been so long I'm not like triggered by it or anything it's just something that I know had happened to me and I've able I've been able to get through it and move past it so it's not like something that like triggers me when I write about it. And lastly, I wanted to include this in a YA novel because I feel like this is an important topic for the YA audience and really for everyone to learn about because even though Lucci is going through these, these experiences, these negative experiences, you guys will learn how she gets through it, how her family deals with it, what comes out of it, can her stepdad be redeemed, um, and just being aware of it, aware of the symptoms, aware that it's not okay. You know, it's just as bad as physical abuse. So I, I just wanted to include this topic and I felt like it was important. 
So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope that you found it interesting. And yeah, I'm always up for doing videos about any topics that you want to include. So leave comments down below if there's any questions that you have or any topics you would like me to discuss. I do have like a long list of things that I could, you know, I could just come out with YouTube videos every day of the week, <laughs> but I don't have the time. But anyways, I still like to cater my videos to you guys. So go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. Um, you know, if there's any topics you would like me to talk about. Also, just let me know, you know, if you've experienced any of, you know, these things before and how you've dealt with it, how you've gotten through it. I think that, you know, it's just important for the world to know. So thank you for sharing your story with me. All right, you guys, until next time. Bye. What a sleepy little baby, you're so cute. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> Did I freak you out? I'm sorry. Oh. Love you, Kyrie.